of Wild Side of Wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> Ollie, Armstrong, why is it so hot in here? Well, that's because we have two guests from Africa. So we made it nice and hot in here. Yeah. What? Well, whose idea was this? Yours! Oh, uh, right. Uh, great idea. <laughs> hey, Jake, maybe if we talk about something else, it won't feel so hot. Yeah, good idea. What should we talk about? Uh, how about the show? The show. The show! The show! Uh, hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Jake the Polar Bear. And I am stinky and hot. Mm, uh, today we're going to meet two animals, <sighs> an elephant and a hunting dog, who've come all the way from... Africa. Steamy, sticky, muggy, hot Africa. Mm, you know, Stinky, for some reason this isn't taking my mind off the heat. Well, at least our guests will be comfortable. Yeah, that's true. And then maybe they can tell us how to cool down. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Right <laughs> after this. Ooh. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Yeah. Today, a big animal with a very big taste. Mmm, the elephant. When an elephant gets hot and thirsty, they may drink as much as three bathtubs full of water at a time. The big thirsty elephant. Yet another one of those animals that'll make you say, That's amazing! Wow, can you imagine drinking three bathtubs full of water? Well, if you drank that much water, wouldn't you go slash slash glug glug when you walked? <laughs> well, why don't we ask the elephant himself? Here he is, all the way from Africa. Ringo the Elephant! Hello, I'm Ringo the Elephant. And I don't go glug glug slosh slosh when I walk. Oh dear. I think I'm stuck. Oh, wait over there, Ringo. We'll come to you. Yeah, we'll come to you, Ringo. Oh. Uh, the floor is a little weak over here. No. Oh. Uh, sorry, I sometimes forget how big I am. Yeah. But I thought elephants aren't supposed to forget. Forget what? Uh, never mind. Mm. Uh, hey, Ringo, do you think you could help us cool down? Oh, oh sure, flap me ears a bit. That always helps. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh. oh, that is great. Oh. Thank you. Thanks, Ringo. And while you're keeping us cool, why don't you tell us a little about where you're from? Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, well, you see that there? That's my family on the move, and that's Grandfather Tuskus leading the way. That's a lot of elephants. We elephants need a lot to eat. You may not have noticed, but we're pretty big. We, we noticed. noticed. Where do you find enough food? We'll eat almost any kind of plants. Trees are good too, but you've got to find a lot of food. Oh yeah, how much food? Oh, I can put away about a half a ton of food a day. Whoa, that's a lot of leaves. Mm, sure is. Aren't those trees kind of thorny? Don't they hurt? Oh, don't worry about that. We elephants have got really thick skin. Ooh, and now it's time for a nice cool drink. Hey, how do you drink with that trunk? Just watch this elephant. Whoa! Ooh, yeah, yeah. amazing. So, so that's how elephants stay cool? Oh, there are other ways too. Well, tell us, we really need some pointers on keeping cool. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Well, you can use your trunk to pour water over your backs, or you can flap your ears. Those are both good ways to stay cool. Uh -huh. Let me get this. I flap my ears and then pour water over my back. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. Of Whoa. course, that would be a lot easier to do if you were an elephant. Uh, true, Ringo. And it's a lot easier to stay cool if you're a calf. Yeah. Whoa! Hey, sorry. Ooh. Ooh, that's a baby elephant. Right. When you're a little elephant, you can just wait until your folks stop moving around. Then, just like this little guy here, you can scrunch up underneath and get some shade. Of course, as you can see, I'm a little big for that now. Well, thank you for coming and for the advice on staying cool, Ringo. Oh, yeah, Ringo. I'm going to try that trick with the water. Well, stay cool, you two. Uh, okay. We'll try. Hey, Ringo, would you mind flapping your ears in my direction a few more times? Oh, sure. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, that oh. is cool. Yeah. Almost as cool as this baby, baby talk. talk. Mm. Mm. 
Bob, I don't want a bath. Of course you do. Now come on. But Bob, I don't need a bath. Sure you do. Trust me. Rolling around in the mud will do you a world of good. But? See? The twins have just hey. had a mud bath and they loved it. Yeah, it's yeah, great. It's brilliant. Yeah, a lovely time. Yeah, having a good time. Well, that's squidgy and gooey and love gray. Oh, yeah. lovely. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This is great. Oh, who'd have thought rolling around a mud was a good thing? An elephant, that's oh. who. Mud's oh. great for our skin, you know. Yeah. Oh, hey, Bob. Yeah? Uh, do, you, do you think I could uh, sit in it? You think I could? Go for it. Ah, oh, yes, this feels good. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, it's great, yeah. isn't it? Oh, oh, all of that hey, dust throw that dust at me. <laughs> Ah, it's lovely, though. Uh, now for some powder, and then bath time's over. Uh. Ooh, that certainly looked cool. You know, I hope Stinky doesn't get any ideas. <laughs> Hiya, Jake. What do you think? I've got my own trunk and ears. Now I can be as cool as an elephant. <laughs> Now I've seen everything. No, no, you haven't. Let me show you how the ears work. <sighs> See, there's a nice cooling effect there. On to the left, on to the right. Working together both day and night. We want to talk about the parts of you. Hanging on your head to let the sound get through to your brain. We'll explain. Let's hear it for your ears. Listen to me. Listen to you, listen to his knees. Achoo! A maiden call can give you quite a thrill. A lion's rock can give you quite a chill. So don't abuse him, you might lose him. Let's hear it for your ears. Three cheers for your ears. Let's hear it for your ears. Don't abuse him, you might lose him. When you scrub him, say you love him. Give a listen. What you're missing, let's hear it for your ears. Well, you see, what I do here then is I suck up the water through my trunk, like this. I... <coughs> Gee, this thing doesn't seem to be working. Mm. Ready for a quiz? Mm. Oh, yeah, but only if it's a cool one. Yeah, what's the question, Dizzy? is, how does a jackrabbit keep cool? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz! <laughs> Do you know the answer? Hey, do you know how to make this thing work? Oh, uh, no. Uh, Tizzy, could we hear the question again? Sure! It goes like this! <laughs> how does a jackrabbit keep cool? With its ears! It loses heat through its big ears, which help keep the jackrabbit from getting too hot. Believe it! And how can ears keep an animal cool? Easy! You see, the blood that flows around in the animal's body also goes through its ears. If those ears are big and out in the breeze, they get nice and cool. And that's not the only way animals keep cool. Some, like the elephant, will flap their ears like this. And do you know what these are? These are warthogs, and they like nothing better than to take a nice sticky mud bath. <laughs> these hippos keep cool by resting in the water. And what about a bee like me? I just catch a cool breeze wherever I can. Be seeing you! Thank you, Tizzy, for an exceptionally cool quiz. You know, it isn't easy to eat and drink with your nose. Unless you're an elephant. Well, you may have something there. Hey, maybe Eve St. LaRoche can help. Does Eve know noses? I supposes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, my beautiful, beautiful pan. You are so wonderful to me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Bonjour, bonjour, and a wonderful welcome to all you animals out there with big snouts. Now, today I am going to talk about eating with your nose. Now, eating with your nose is not easy, but as I always say, eating with your nose is always easier than eating with your neighbor's nose. Nest pas? Hmm. Hmm. I will now demonstrate the proper way to eat with your nose by eating this pile of mashed potato with my nose. Then again, if you think I'm going to stick my nose into this pile of mashed potato, you are silly in the head. No? Wait. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, bon! But I will show you how to eat this cauliflower with your nose, like so. Ah, wait! Ah, ah, sadly, I, uh, I cannot show you how to eat this cauliflower because cauliflowers make me sn 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 Ah, wait! Ah, 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 but... Have no fear. Here is my favorite food to eat with your nose. A clam. It is not easy, but I shall demonstrate like so. Ouch. Well, uh, that is how you eat a clam with your nose, or is that how a clam eats your nose? Uh, in any case, bon appetit. I remember, nobody knows the troubles I have seen until they have seen my nose. Thinky, yank. <laughs> well, now we have with us Jake. Jake! Jake, you were right about the ears and trunk stuff. It only works for elephants. Uh, <clears throat> Next, we have another animal from Africa. Oh, well, maybe he can tell us how to keep cool. Bring him on. All right, here is Eugene the hunting dog. Oh, it's hot in here. Uh, why is it so hot in here? Uh, I, I don't think polar bears like the heat. Well, we don't, but we just wanted to make you feel at home. Oh, well, thanks, but give me a cool breeze any day. Yeah. Uh, psst, psst, psst. Huh? Jake, Jake, Jake. Jake, that is a dog. I thought we only had wild animals on this show. But That's a dog. Oh, you You're you a dog. Were... Well, yeah, I'm a dog, but... I'm a hunting dog. But we only have animals from the wild on this show, uh, and you're just a regular dog. Allow me to explain. I may be a member of the dog family, but I am most definitely a wild dog. Here, uh, ch check this out. Oh, oh. See there? That's one of the members of our pack uh, running towards the rest of the pack. Well, you still look like a regular dog to me. Oh, well, we sort of look like regular dogs because we're related to regular dogs. But you wag your tail, you're shaking, you're scratching. That's what a dog does. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the difference is we hunt for our food. Hey, who's that? Oh, sure is a cute little puppy. Oh, that, that's my little brother, Bill. Nice pup, huh? Yeah, but he can be a real pest sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Well, now, how exactly do hunting dogs hunt? Well, wherever you see one of us, there's always others around. But we do have one rule. We always hunt in a pack. Uh -huh. yeah, sometimes it's not easy, as these guys are finding out. Uh -huh. Yeah, but there must be food around there somewhere. Hey, uh, keep on sniffing, guys. You'll find it. Oh, OK. So yeah. you're a wild dog, and you hunt for what you eat. Right. But we are like regular dogs in one way. Ooh, what's that? Well. We're real frisky when we're puppies. <laughs> hey, hey, look at those little pups. Ooh, arf, arf! Uh, Stinky, huh? well, we don't bark. Oh. Yeah, we sort of howl. Oh! Arroo, arroo. Hey, not bad. Thank you. Very good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, those pups sure are keeping their mama busy. Yeah, and did you know that one mama dog can take care of up to 12 pups at a time? Whoa! Yeah, she sure has her paws full. No. Wow! Oh, no. Hey, that was great, Eugene. Yeah. But what we really want to know is... How do you stay cool? Oh, easy. Oh. Well, we just stick out our tongues and pant. Like a dog? Yeah, like a dog. I knew it. Well, thanks for being here, Eugene. Uh, Stinky, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sticking out my tongue so I can feel cooler. Well, do you feel any cooler? Yes. <sighs> hey, this is sensational, Stinky. Yeah. Um, I think this is a good time for me to sing my song. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, Ooh, that's an excellent idea. Yeah. Here is Eugene the hunting dog singing wild dogs. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Walking on the wild side 
sunburns on your back. It's a dog eat dog world out there when you're traveling with the pack. But no one loves a wild dog, sometimes they attack. It's a cat eat dog world out there when you're traveling with the pack. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Eugene. Yeah. Hey, anytime, you guys. Stay cool. Mm. Uh, well, you know, sticking out my tongue did cool me down a little bit. Well, here's something that's really cool. <gasps> the Animal Awards. Mm. Thanks, Jake. And now it's time to find out who will win the Animal Award for Biggest Land Animal. Yeah, and we're talking big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it the hippo? Oh, how about this, maybe? The rhinoceros. Mm, or the elephant. Oh, yeah. In third place, big but not biggest, the hippo. Oh, in second place, bigger but still not biggest, the rhinoceros. So, the winner of today's award for the biggest animal on land is the elephant. Ah, ah congratulations. Yeah, way to go, Ringo. <laughs> Thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. And now it's Say, hey, Jake. Yeah? How do you know if you've got an elephant in your refrigerator? I don't know. By the footprints in the peanut butter. <laughs> and, and now it's time for a story. Once upon a time, mm. there was a dung beetle called Dibby. And he was the best at doing what a dung beetle does, which, of course, is rolling dung. In fact, there was not a ball of dung that Dibby couldn't roll. Or so he thought, but then one morning, he came upon his greatest challenge. This dung ball is so big and beautiful, he said. I know I can roll it. Oh, this is perfect, thought Dibby. It's so lovely and round, and I can roll it forever. And that's when Dibby decided it was the best ball he'd ever found. It's so nice and round and easy to roll, said Dibby. And to celebrate his discovery, Dibby declared that he would keep on rolling that ball just as far as he could. So, watch where you go, and you just might see Dibby the Dung Beetle doing what a Dung Beetle does best. Rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling along. The end. Say, do you think Dibby is still rolling that ball? Well, you know what they say. What? When it comes to rolling dung, a dung beetle's duty is never done. Hmm. Oh, boy, huh? I'll tell you, I'm feeling kind of hungry. I wonder if I have time to eat before old... It's habitat time! I guess not. Ah, it's time to get to work, Armstrong, and today it's... <gasps> the desert! D dessert? <gasps> Oh, I love dessert. Oh, great. Hey, I'll have a couple of rodents with uh, some whipped cream on top. Uh, no, and no, some Ar Armstrong. It, it, well, it, all right, all right. The cherries are expensive. I'll have a uh, little sprinkles and maybe some hot no, fudge. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Not what? dessert. What? The desert. You know, sand and sun. It's yeah. an incredible habitat because there's almost no water. No water? <laughs> Sounds like loads of fun. It is. Come yeah, on. Sure. And we've got some lovely deserts to choose from over here. Well, here's the desert. <laughs> it's hot. Hey, uh, who's that there? Ah, that's a camel. And did you know that camels can live quite a long time without a drink of water? Yeah, they can, but what about me? Hey, uh, maybe that camel will give me a drink out of that hump there. 
Well, there's not water in there. It's fat. Oh, uh, never mind that, Camel. Uh, I don't want to drink a fat. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, if there's hardly any water here, how can anything survive? Well, desert life is pretty tough, but a lot of creatures do live here. And there oh. goes one of them now. Oh, yeah. That's an oryx. An oryx. That's a kind of desert antelope. Really? Wow, look at him run, huh? Mm hmm. Sheesh. He's fast. Oh, that, well, well, look here. Now I know why he's running. It's a snake. And that's not just any snake, it's a sidewinder. Mm. And it's called that because of the way it slithers sideways across the sand. How about that? And oh. these animals are called skinks. At night, it can get cold in the desert, so reptiles like these skinks only wake up when the sun gets them warm. That, well, hey, look at that blue tongue there. <gasps> Did you see that? Oh, that skink breath, that's oh. pretty bad. Ooh. Hey, and do you know what those are? Oh, of course, they're bushes. No, I mean in the bushes and all around there on oh, the oh. sand. Oh, no, yeah. They are locusts. And wherever you see trees or bushes in the desert, you'll find insects like the locust. Wow, look at that color. Mm. They're like a red or spotted something. Yeah, they're kind of pretty, aren't they? I guess. Mm. She attracted the locust. Boy, listen to that chomping noise. They must be hungry. It's getting on my nerves. Mm. And where there's one locust, you can be sure there'll be lots and lots and lots more. Yeah, well, there's millions of them there. Mm, that's right. Mm. And a swarm of locusts will eat just about anything that comes in their way. Yeah, well, then uh, I'm going the other way. Mm. Let's go home, Molly. Mm. Well, uh, that was Habitat uh, Time in the uh, Desert. I'm uh, Molly the Tape here. And I'm, I'm Sonny Chicken Hawk. Keep cool. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, it's Tizzy. Oh, must be time for another quiz. It sure is. And it goes like this. There are two kinds of elephants. One kind is from Africa. The other kind is from India. Do you know the difference between the two? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. Ooh, been busy, Stinky and Jake? Oh, it's tough, Tizzy. I don't know the answer. Yeah, and I don't even know the question. Well, here it is again. Ooh. What's the difference between an African elephant and an Indian elephant? Take another look. It's the ears. The African elephant's ears are bigger and flap out. The Indian elephant's ears are smaller and closer to their head. Be it! Thank you, Tizzy, for another quiz. And thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. Bye! <laughs> and you too, Eve. <clears throat> and a special thanks to Ringo the elephant and Eugene the hunting dog for helping us keep cool. Oh. And to all you little animals out there, until next time... Just stick out your tongue and flap your ears... And you'll always be cool. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So long. Be